Okay, we're about to depart Springdale, Arkansas. We're going to pretend that we've been given an assigned heading of 120 and a climb to 4,000 feet. Uh, after departure, after we reach a, a safe enough altitude, we're going to engage the autopilot in heading mode and climb to that 4,000 foot altitude. Let's go. Springdale Tower, Experimental 989, Tango Sierra, ready for departure, runway 18 VFR, southeast bound. Experimental 989, Tango Sierra, Springdale Tower, runway 18 North Intersection, wind 090 at 5, clear for takeoff, left around southeast approved. Clear for takeoff, southeast departure, 9 Tango Sierra. All right, now as we pull out onto the runway, watch the synthetic vision runway come into uh, view on the PFD, and hopefully it will match up pretty good with what you're seeing on the uh, outside camera. I'm going to engage the autopilot in heading mode. All I have to do is press the heading roll soft key to access the autopilot roll modes. Press AP heading. Heading shows in green. That indicates the autopilot is tracking the heading bug. It's turning left to 120. Pitch is green, indicating the autopilot is holding the pitch that I was at when I activated uh, heading mode. And ALT S is in white, which indicates that it's going to climb to 4,000 feet and level off. And I think I'd like to put the nose down a little bit, so we can do it a couple ways. One way is just to hold down on the joystick. Thanks, Paramount Manor Tango Sierra. Maintain VFR. Frequency change approved. Y'all have a good flight. Nine Tango Sierra. Thanks so long. As I hold the uh, joystick, the nose of the airplane comes slowly down. It's a little like trim that way. That sound you just heard was a tone to indicate that we have 1,000 feet to go until we reach our selected altitude of 4,000 feet. You'll hear it again at 3,800, which uh, indicates uh, 200 feet to go. Okay, what you just saw was ALT S and then ALT flashing green. That means it's capturing the selected altitude. It's telling me to put uh, pitch trim down, which I'll do a little bit of. Now, I haven't touched the flight control since I engaged the autopilot. All I've done is adjust the power a little bit. And the, uh, the autopilot, with a little help from me on the trim and the rudder, is doing a pretty darn good job holding 120 on the heading, 4,000 feet altitude. It's a little bumpy at this altitude, so we're going up and down just a little bit. If we wanted to climb higher, let's say we wanted to climb to 5,500 feet, that'd be a good altitude for out here. All we have to do, press out, rotate clockwise until we see 5,500 feet, and then tell it how we want to get there. We can use either pitch or vertical speed. I'm going to select vertical speed, to bump the joystick up until my little vertical speed bug is on the 500 mark, and 500 feet per minute shows there. And while it's doing that, let's adjust our heading. Uh, in the two-screen system, the default behavior of the knob is to adjust the heading. So let's turn right to oh, 140. All I have to do is turn the knob. 140. Too far. And the aircraft will enter a nice standard rate turn to the right. And it will zero in on that 140 heading and hold it. We just got the tone that says we have a thousand feet to go. And if I watch, I will see the uh, autopilot pitch the nose over. There it goes. It's capturing the selected altitude, 5,500 feet. The nose is coming down, a nice gentle transition, and it's going to level us at 5,500. Now it's entered altitude hold mode, and that's where it will stay. Now we're on heading, we're at our altitude, and we're on our way.